Today, I've put every NFL player onto the team that drafted them. Tyreek Hill is reunited with Patrick Mahomes. MVP finalist Christian McCaffrey returns to Carolina. Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams back to Green Bay. Which NFL team is best at scouting and drafting talent? Well, let's find out. There were three teams that stuck out as I was building this roster that uh, unfortunately kind of got destroyed by the uh, changes. First up, the Cleveland Browns. Technically, Baker Mayfield is an upgrade on Deshaun Watson. He's a 70 overall versus Deshaun at a 75 but their receiving room is decimated dude Donovan Peoples Jones welcome back but Amari Cooper is gone Elijah Moore is gone overall they're missing Wyatt Teller from their offensive line Zadarius Smith from their defensive line it's not looking great for the Cleveland Browns similarly for the Jacksonville Jaguars it starts off nice they get Jalen Ramsey back to a potentially anchor their defense with Josh Allen Tyson Campbell but another wide receiver room decimated Calvin Ridley Christian Kirk they they were free agent signings. They're gone. And also no Evan Ingram. They get the corpse of Mercedes Lewis and uh, Allen Robinson. Okay. The last team to take a massive hit, the Philadelphia Eagles. On paper, they're still pretty good. Like I could see them making the playoffs, but dude, they lost AJ Brown, Darius Slade, DeAndre Swift, Kevin Bayard, Hassan Reddick. I had to double check my notes. There were so many players that they missed. Their roster is still very, very strong, but uh, yeah, not as good as it was prior. Now three teams on the other side that definitely got a nice bump. The Washington Commanders. Welcome back back Trent Williams yep uh Chase Young Brandon Sheriff Kirk Cousins who doesn't love a healthy Kirk the Lions were already so so good this season uh they get Darius Slay oh Darius Slay another player the Eagles lost TJ Hawkinson joins them on Ross St. Brown DeAndre Swift and Jameer Gibbs in the backfield now Quandre Diggs from my Seahawks man that's a tough loss for Seattle oh and I should point out Matt Stafford back on the Lions Jared Goff back on the Rams they just keep flip-flopping who wins the trade now final team that I'm buying stock in before we do the sim, the Carolina Panthers, uh, Christian McCaffrey. He had such a good game in the Super Bowl. A great season, fell just short, as we know. Uh, he's back in town with DJ Moore. Some good weapons for uh, Bryce Young, James Bradbury on defense. But after all that, there's some highs, there's some lows. Uh, there is one team which changed basically only for the positive, and they were already good, and I think they might ruin this video. That would be Lamar Jackson's Baltimore Ravens. Okay, right off the top, they did lose Roquan Smith, which is tough, you know, but uh, I, I mean, they get Matthew Judon back. Speaking of 49ers in the Super Bowl, Kyle Juszczyk came from Baltimore. I, I'm a casual. I did not know that. Uh, CJ Mosley, Ryan Jensen. Uh, who else? Tyler, uh, Darren Waller. Yeah, other than Roquan Smith, the Ravens really didn't lose anybody. Unfortunately, they didn't get a sneaky uh, running back upgrade. I mean, Kyle Juszczyk is cool. Also, no wide receiver. Well, Marquise Brown, he's only an 81 uh, overall on this roster. They lost Odell, got Marquise. Mark Andrews, Darren Waller, Hayden Hurst. I forgot about Hayden Hurst too and Isaiah Likely. Their tight ends are nuts. Anyways, should we just uh, skip ahead to when I show Baltimore winning the Super Bowl? Should we do that now? Oh wait, speaking of the Ravens, one last note. Justin Tucker is still on Baltimore. Justin Tucker, like many kickers, was undrafted into the NFL, but he started his career with the Ravens. And I kept that logic consistent with all undrafted players. For example, Austin Eckler is on the Chargers. For the first team they played for, that's where undrafted players will go to. Adam Thielen, another one. I forgot he was undrafted and that's a pretty good. Oh yeah, Minnesota. Um, Yeah, they're pretty nice. In season one, there were definitely some surprises, including Russell Wilson turning back the clock for my Seattle Seahawks. He threw for just shy of 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns. The Seahawks were in the playoffs. I just talked about Minnesota. They lost Kirk Cousins, but Teddy Bridgewater held it down. They made the playoffs thanks to those receivers, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, and Stephon Diggs. I mean, come on. Nah, nah, but for real, I, I have to show love to the Vikings. Teddy, over 4,000 yards. I mean, he threw 21 picks, but they made the playoffs. So whatever. And look at this. I thought I was so excited for the duo of Jefferson and Diggs. Uh, Adam Thielen snuck in there with a thousand yards. Stefan Diggs kind of playing like he played down the stretch IRL for Buffalo. I'm sorry, Bills fans. Get out. But to the playoffs, we go. What am I seeing? Okay. All right. So my eye original, the first thing my eye just saw, the Raiders are the one seed in the AFC. I definitely haven't mentioned them yet in this video. Okay. We'll put a pin in that for the moment. The rest of the AFC playoff teams, thankfully the Ravens, I, I talked about them for so long. They did come in at a two seed. Houston, okay. Indianapolis, uh, the Chiefs, sure. Dolphins, Bengals, okay. Over in the NFC, we've got the 49ers as the one seed. I also haven't talked about them yet. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this video isn't pure chaos because the really good teams in real life are, are really good because they also drafted well, so they're still good in this universe. Anyways, uh, speaking of good teams, that's
that stay good the cowboys yes the commanders made the playoffs i knew their roster was looking good the vikings and my seahawks the falcons okay they'll be playing the packers all right okay just to check my predictions when i looked at this roster uh just moments ago in the video i said that the browns and jags were gonna be bad so the browns were seven and ten missed the playoffs the jags well they were over 500 but missed the playoffs so i'll take that as a w in the nfc i predicted the oh yeah i said the eagles would be trash um no i didn't i said they would be pretty good but they they got worse anyways they missed the playoffs another dub for me the commanders made it but what happened to the panthers mccaffrey 5 and 12 dj moore okay i guess they weren't enough to move the needle and uh the, the lions they definitely didn't get worse as a team i guess matt stafford wasn't it bro all right taking a look at some awards here mvp i was hoping we'd get something uh, truly shocking but no patrick mahomes edging out lamar jackson uh what were the chiefs i think a three seed so fair and did i see I, the Bills. I don't think the Bills made the playoffs. Okay, interesting. Hurts missed the playoffs. I feel like Aaron Rodgers probably should have got some more MVP love. At least his Packers are in the playoffs. What are Allen and Hurts doing up here, bro? Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to look at all the playoff teams, especially the ones I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, Offensive Player of the Year in the AFC. That makes sense. The Colts, uh, they were very, very good. Nick Chubb, his Browns were uh, not so much. Uh, Brees Hall trying to carry the Jets. I see you, brother. DPOY, Max Crosby. Yeah, dude. Okay, I can't wait to look at the Raiders, man. Uh, Vaughn Miller back on the Broncos wasn't enough to push him in, uh, into the playoffs, but uh, he did his thing. Khalil Mack, yeah, him and Max Crosby. That's that's pretty ferocious. I get it. NFC Offense Player of the Year, Cooper Cup with Jared Goff. Uh, doesn't matter who's throwing Cooper the ball. He's going to win his hardware. McCaffrey, seventh in Offensive Player of the Year voting. I'm kind of sad about that. I can't lie. DPOY looks like uh, Micah Parsons from the Cowboys. Yeah, they were good. Daniil Hunter back. Uh, he's on the Vikings. Yeah, that makes sense aiden hutchinson okay oh, wow I, i'm just looking back at mvp because i was double checking to make sure russell wilson wasn't there jared goff got mvp consideration kirk cousins on the commanders amazing geno smith on the jets that's really fun man aaron Rodgers. that that's cool i'm always just rooting for chaos and for the players that i switch teams to do well in these videos just Please don't let it be Chiefs 49ers, man. Okay, we got to take a look at some of these surprising teams, uh, at least to me in the playoffs. So yeah, the Raiders, Max Crosby, okay. Amari Cooper is back. Khalil Mack, fair enough. Uh, Danico Autry. Derek Carr back under center. I mean, it's a pretty good roster, but the one seed is a touch surprising, I can't lie. Houston was basically status quo because they made the playoffs in this universe as a seven seed. Uh, they got DeAndre Hopkins, DJ Reader back, a good weapon there for CJ Stroud, some defense of pieces Jadavion Clowney sure um the Colts made the playoffs not much change for the Colts roster again this is after a season sim so certain players uh, obviously developing nicely Bobby O'Karaki is there Malik Hooker again I hope we don't just have the Chiefs run the table here in the playoffs but it is easy to see why they would be great because it's basically their Super Bowl winning team plus Tyreek Hill Okay, um, they did lose Joe Tooney from the offensive line, but uh, apparently that didn't really matter. They pick up Nelson. Yeah, I mean, imagine if Tyree Kill was just back on the team we just saw win the Super Bowl, dude. With Taylor Swift's powers, they would be unstoppable. Um, well, they've won two in a row, so they're already unstoppable. Let me just stop talking. The Dolphins lost Jalen Ramsey, but added back and Tyree Kill they lost, but added Minka Fitzpatrick, Laramie Tunsil. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, they're still gonna be competitive. Makes sense. The Bengals lost DJ Reader and Trey Hendrickson for from their defense, but add Jesse Bates, who's now a 98 overall, Kevin Zeitler on their offensive line. The Niners, of course, they're awesome. They lost Christian McCaffrey and Trent Williams, a big L, but they did pick up uh, Trent Brown on their uh, offensive line to force Buckner for their defense. And look at this. I built this roster from the base Madden 24 roster and Brock in one season developed to be a 93 overall. What? Now that is crazy. The Cowboys, they've drafted themselves a very, very good roster IRL. Not much going on here. Here, uh, Dalton Schultz. They've also got the Zeke is somewhere here. Yeah, there's Ezekiel Elliott. They're, they're going to choke in the playoffs anyways. We already know this. The Falcons might be the biggest surprise. They are they lost Jesse Bates for one. They pick up Aluakon. Um, there is Devondre Campbell is new. Calvin Ridley, but... Uh, really? With Desmond Ritter. It's not like he bumped up. He's still 74 overall. And the final playoff team to highlight, the Green Bay Packers. Devontae Adams, like I mentioned in the intro, is back. What more do you need? Micah Hyde. 
Hyde, yeah, that was a big hit to Buffalo for sure. And Aaron Rodgers, intact Achilles, playing at an 88 overall. That's good stuff. And there you have it, man. If your team didn't make the playoffs, I apologize. There's only 14 slots. I mean, it couldn't be me. My Seahawks are in here, probably about to make a run. Uh, let's get these playoffs started. And when, uh, when I'm right, I'm right. Seahawks with a dominant performance. Russell Wilson with the, the 228, zero touchdowns, one I you know, he's he got the W. That that's all that matters. Look at Kenneth Walker. Oh, look at Rashad Penny. A couple TDs on the ground. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually kind of just playing right now. I did not think the Seahawks. I didn't change their roster very much. I did not think they were going to be good. But they're in the second round. Let's go. Elsewhere in the NFC, it was an absolute bloodbath for my adopted Commander squad. They lost 55 to three to Dak and the boys. Not good. While in a low scoring affair, Desmond Ritter came through for the Falcons. I gotta stop doubting this dude. Man, I, I, it was a 10 seven game. All right. It was not nothing pretty, but uh, what was Aaron Rodgers doing? 139 and nothing. C come on, dude. Well, over in the AFC shades of real life, Lamar in Baltimore dusted off Houston. The surprising three seed Colts got wrecked by KC and Miami in a nail biter used a late Jalen Waddle TD to hold off Cincy in overtime. Now this is a game. This is a game between some QBs to a 264, three TDs outplaying Joe Burrow, who was okay, but didn't not, not just not enough, man. And into the final four we go. All right, I am. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, Raider fans. I'm. Ch I, I know y'all got the one seed. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm nervous for you against Kansas City. Baltimore, Miami should be a great game. I am very nervous for my Seahawks against the 49ers. Cowboys. Can the Falcons continue this run? What in the world? Well, our first answer is gonna be about my Seahawks. Can they put up a fight against the 49ers in San Fran? Can they upset the Apple Cart Cup? Oh, they're off that good start, Russ to DK. Let's go, boys. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be unbiased here, and trust me, like, there's nothing I'm doing to influence this video. The, the Seahawks are up 17 nothing at half. What is going on? I mean, I just can't. Pete, Pete, RIP, RIP. I, I, he's still alive. He, he just got fired, but uh, that is just... They, did they let Russ cook? Oh, my good. They did. Ru 268 and 2. That's a perfect game from Russ. 93 overall. Brock Purdy turned in an absolute stinker. What? I've showed a lot of roster here that look a lot better than this Seahawks roster on paper, but uh, you always know Madden's gonna come through with the chaos, and I'm not fighting it, man. The 49ers are ousted. I mean, look at this 49ers run. I'm sorry, San Fran, uh, San Fran fans. I don't mean to rub it in. I know you've had a rough few days, but how does this roster lose, Madden? Come on. Do we have a second upset in the works? This is a, a two versus four seed matchup, uh, so not that crazy, but if Miami pulls this off, it would be a second straight upset to start our playoffs. Ooh, it it's ugly out the gates. Punts everywhere. Okay. First points on the game. Undrafted. Justin Tucker coming through for Baltimore as he always does. Wow. And dude, oh man, you take Tyreek Hill off a team, uh, the Dolphins in this case, and you lose some explosivity, apparently. 10-3. Next up, the favorite on paper in this game was the Chiefs, but in this universe, the Raiders were the runaway one seed, so uh, I thought we had to respect the Raiders. I thought they might, I thought they might pull of Seahawks upset one of our IRL Super Bowl. No, 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 no. You know what? I'll show them the respect and not call them frauds because they only lost by seven. But an L is an L. Pat Mahomes, 277 and two, slightly outplaying Derek Carr. You had a good run, Raiders. And speaking of uh, you had a good run, the Falcons are in that territory because I kind of think they're going to take an L here, but maybe they surprise us all and down the Cowboys. All right, Dak to CD Lamb. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, there's there's no surprising twist with the Falcons. Arthur Smith, your shot at redemption in this universe did not go well. 34-21. But there you go. After all that work I put into building this roster, everything in this video, uh, we've got Ravens Chiefs. That was literally the AFC Championship game. Cowboys Seahawks, I guess is a little unpredictable, but we all knew Dallas would be great. Uh, it, it's all good though. Things happen, man. I'm not mad about it. Okay. I was wondering how the Chiefs were a six seed. I mean, they were 12 and five. Okay, so the Raiders edged them for the division, which pushed them down. But 12 and 5, they were very good. They, they they are a fraudulent six seed in that they're basically like a two seed. Anyways. Oh my gosh. And speaking of frauds, I completely forgot to show stat leaders for our simulated season. That's like half of the fun of this video. So for those of you who are still watching, here we go. Dak Prescott, a massive season. Wow, he did not win MVP. So Pat Mahomes won MVP, 42 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Fair enough. That's a 
pretty good race between uh, Pat and uh, Dak, and they might meet in the Super Bowl here. Joe Burrow had a big season. Josh Allen missed the playoffs, but he was very good. Jared Goff, one of my best uh, transplanted back to their drafted team QBs, came through with 4,034. Teddy Bridgewater, speaking of which, I mentioned him earlier. Russ was cooking. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, playoff collapse, but I guess we'll just ignore that for now. Um, Yeah, there you go. Anyways, the uh, ground game, Josh Jacobs. Okay, if I would have checked this earlier, the Raiders thing would have made sense. 1,800 yards cleared the uh, rest of the, the, the group there by 150. Derrick Henry next, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon, Nick Chubb, Aaron Jones. My boy Christian McCaffrey, the first uh, new team QB uh, running back, sorry, to come through 1,512. Makes sense. Receiving, Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year. Seven, so he barely edged CD in yards. Also touchdown. CD did lead the uh, league in receptions. Interesting. Good race for Offensive Player of the Year there. Robert Woods returned all the way back uh, to Buffalo where he started his career. It was obviously Josh Allen's number one target without Stephon Diggs. He finished like, that's top seven in receiving yards? Wait a minute. Jaden Reed. A, a, a thousand yards, nine. To, Jaden Reed is a stud. I'm not like, I'm not calling out Jaden Reed, but uh, Devontae had less than a thousand. Him and Stephon Diggs, I thought would be huge for their drafted teams and both of them kind of fell flat on their face. Okay. Oh my gosh, we are jumping right back into the playoffs and by that I mean one minute, 15 seconds left. Seahawks ball just before half. They are only down six. Russell Wilson, yes. It is crazy. Brandon Aubrey had a 55-yard field goal attempt, which would have ended the game, but he missed it. And it's given the Seahawks one last chance. I thought this game was over. The Cowboys did such a good job. They burned, uh, well, actually Seattle has one timeout left, but they burned about four and a half minutes, got to, uh, yeah, got to the 40-yard line. Brandon Aubrey could not come through clutch. Look at Kenny Walker breaking tackles. Russ is just attacking the middle of the field, which is ironic because he didn't really do that when he was with the Seahawks. And now it's costing him. No! Oh my gosh, they burned their final timeout to the Seahawks. Third and 12. Russ, please cook something good, my guy. Gordon Ramsay up in the pocket. Tyler Lockett, and he gets out of bounds. What an absolute die. Oh no. Oh no, it's giving me Super Bowl flashbacks and not from the good one. No, no, it's not going to happen. Don't throw a slant, Russ. Empty backfield. He's got time. A fade? <laughs> he almost got picked on. It almost happened again. That was Deron Bland to. Oh my gosh. One second left. What do you have? Russ. Man, Russ, what do you have for us to the end zone? Broken up by Diggs. Oh my gosh, the Cowboys survived. Nah, here we go, man. Can the Ravens do it? Uh, I feel like the Cowboys are, are an enemy to many NFL fans. And uh, obviously the Chiefs are too, now that they've won a billion titles. So I think the Ravens could be heroes here. Keep Kansas City out of the Super Bowl in this timeline. Can you do it, Lamar? They're calling you out, Lamar. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Lamar Jackson passed to Mark Andrews. Five-yard touchdown. We're in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Gus Edwards, two yards for the touchdown. We're in the fourth. Wow, I kind of felt my voice. It's, you know, I, I, I did I start to go a little Tony Romo there? Jim, we're in the fourth. Jim, watch out. Oh my gosh, Baltimore. Blew, they blew them out. In this universe, Lamar Jackson, man, I'm sorry, Ravens fans. I know you wish this happened IRL. Outplaying Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship game, 231 and two. As you can see, Tyree Kill was great for the Chiefs, but Mark Andrews, two touchdowns. That's all they needed, man. Rashad Bateman came through. Marquise Brown didn't really do anything. And Travis, one touchdown, only two catches. CBS could probably only show Taylor like uh, three times in that game. What a W for all of us. But after all of that, a lot of fun, a lot of chaos. The team I called out in the intro as my expectation to dominate this video, well, they have. The Baltimore Ravens, their roster so good, so deep. They are off to the Super Bowl. But in the big game, they've got their biggest test yet. The Dallas Cowboys clocking in at a 90 overall. I didn't hype them up very much. Maybe I should have, dude. Well, what is going to happen here? The Baltimore Ravens having added the likes of Matt Judon, CJ Mosley, Ryan Jensen to an already stacked core led by Lamar Jackson playing at an MVP level were a juggernaut. But Dallas has a gnarly drafted unit themselves adding back a couple vets in Dalton Schultz and Zeke Elliott. Well, that was just icing on the cake. Oh my goodness. For the second game in a row or whenever that Seahawks game was, we have another un 
unbelievable finish. Under two minutes left, just over a minute left. In fact, Cowboys ball, they are down. This game has been all that, dude. Lamar has been balling out. I think he has all four touchdowns for the Ravens. Ezekiel Elliott has two short touchdown runs for the Cowboys. Get out of here, Tony Pollard. You're no Zeke. We know that. But as we can see, Dallas is on the ropes. Baltimore, can their defense hold? They added a few defensive pieces. Uh, they added them back, of course. They drafted them. Oh, no. Oh, they got cash. With no timeouts, they've got to go another 45-ish yards for the touch. Imagine if they scored and then went for two. If Madden did that. Okay, that's uh, Noah Brown over the middle. Noah Brown, I, I didn't mention it, but I think I saw he might have had a 1,000 yards in this simulation. Anyways, that doesn't matter right now. What matters is can he make another play? Dax, no! Dax, no! That's it! The what? what? Just like that, it ends. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Super Bowl 58 champion. If every player was back on their drafted team, indeed, it's the Baltimore Ravens. Let me know what you thought of this video down below in the comments section. The Baltimore Ravens, I called it, man. They were so, so good. Uh, what did you think of the outcome? Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed and uh, check out another video here from my channel.